Travis Hour with one of the world's biggest rock bands, and big is the word here, preparing to perform at one of the world's most exciting new visual attractions. Shout out to you, James Dolan, for this. U2's Bono and The Edge gave Anthony Mason exclusive behind-the-scenes access this week ahead of their new residency at the Cutting Edge Sphere in Las Vegas. I can't wait to see this thing. You can see why they call it that. It truly is a marvel, and the band will be the first to perform there. So only on CBS Mornings, and you know we like to say so that. I, 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 they showed I Anthony mean, Mason how they're creating I, an we, experience we unlike anything they have ever done and, before. Uh, cost us a couple of the Sphere has already changed the Las Vegas skyline, and it's about to change live music. Are you tempted when you're playing to be just looking up watching the show? I would be. Occasionally, <laughs> you have to check it out. Bono and The Edge have been checking it out because tomorrow night, you 2 will give the inaugural performance at the new venue with its 160,000 speakers and more than 260 million video pixels. That's the thing about the resolution of the screen and the photoreal potential of it. Yeah is that if you show what's outside the building yeah. on this wraparound screen, the building disappears. Yeah. Disappears into the Nevada desert. We are not outside. Is no, that I know. Incredible? Do your cameras know that? Is this supposed to be what, what, what Vegas would have looked like if, if yes. we all weren't here? Yes. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Which amazing. we love. Have you done a rehearsal yet? Uh, yeah, we did one last night, didn't go very well. Thank you for asking though, Anthony. <laughs> this has put us really in a good mood to start the interview. Very good. I haven't seen you in quite a while. For decades, U2 has been a band that revels in spectacle. Their live shows have always pushed technological boundaries. We were as close together as and That's what we started out wanting from the from our very beginning of the band is just to smash the fourth wall, yeah. get to our audience. In the early 90s, their Zoo TV tour reinvented the rock concert with a massive video wall. The tour supported their album, Octung Baby, which the band will be performing again at Sphere. You've always been ambitious in terms of the choreography on the stage. Right, well, we're kind of in that phase of exploring. Dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till people get, they just don't know. <laughs> they Pretty just special. don't, they don't know. I love that twirly one you do. Oh, uh, it's so amazing. Okay, so we thought we'd show you something. So here it goes. U2 has collaborated with a handful of visual artists. You know, this is fun because I haven't seen it from this This is Marco Brambilla. This is legal drugs. You will They also worked with Ez Devlin. Ez, what are we looking at? This is a collection of 250 of the most endangered species of Nevada. And it's the final sequence in the show. What were the marching orders you were given for this? Um, to create a cathedral yeah. in Las Vegas. U2's team began designing the show while Sphere was still under construction. How do you make something for something that doesn't exist? <laughs> I suppose it's a combination of uh, talent, experience, and guesswork. Willie Williams designed the U2 360 tour. Baby, 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 and has been the band's creative director for more than 40 years. I think the joy of it has been, as we're saying with this piece, the way you can lose yourself in it. And it's coming down on us. I mean, I have no idea how an audience is going to respond to this. I guess we'll find out on Friday. You two first came to Vegas in 1987 for the Joshua Tree Tour and shot a video on the strip. Literally, we didn't really have a plan. We just got out of the car, put the audio system in a shopping cart, and just walked to Vegas, just yeah. playing along. <laughs> that was our plan. Earlier this month, they showed up on the Vegas streets again to shoot the video for their new single, Atomic City. Free, 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 free. 
Drummer Larry Mullen Jr., who's recovering from surgery, played on both the video and the record. How's he doing? He was playing so well. But he will miss the shows at Sphere. He played on the track and just sounds amazing. So we're very happy. He killed it, but it nearly killed him. <laughs> so if, 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 you, if you see him uh, on a stretcher, um, <laughs> you'll know he died for rock and roll. Um, <laughs> now he's feeling good and I think and he, he, he can see a way back to fitness, yeah. but it's going to take time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good here. Thank nice you for asking. Atomic City will be released Friday. You did that really for this? We did, but we also wanted it to be a kind of foreshadowing of kind of where we're heading. And he started to fall back in love with himself, you now with the sound of the guitar and what it was, and the potential of the guitar, and we fell in love with that sound too. How far along, by the way, are you on that rock and roll album, or are you still just messing around? Nothing's been uh, recorded other than Atomic City, but we got some great tunes. Tomorrow night, you two will take the stage at Sphere. It's a turntable. It's a turntable. Yeah. You see the circle where the vinyl would sit. With both the privilege and pressure of being the first. Yeah. Are there days you wish you might have gone second? <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, horrible rehearsal. Yeah. I definitely. I uh, wasn't that bad. I don't know. Was you, you? You, you were great. You, you were great. No. <laughs> Um, Isn't that what they say on Broadway, though? You have to have, like, a bad rehearsal. You know, first rehearsal's bad. That means the show's going to be good. I need to get in, more in touch with my inner diva. And I need to be able to do things like, it's off Friday. No Friday. I will not open this venue with my friends. <laughs> unless, um, what? <laughs> unless they give us even more tricks uh, to play with. <laughs> Anthony makes you wow. want to get on a plane and go to uh, it. It's pretty oh, spectacular. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's understandable that, that Bono had some nerves. I will not open this venue with yes, my friends. Yes. Because, you know, it, they're, it's the first time ever this that anybody's played in this venue. They're still, you know, they were still putting up signs when we were there back on Tuesday. And he's also, and then they're also playing with a new drummer because Larry is out for the for the entire 25 dates of this residency. This is a live shot. We're looking at it Yeah, right we're looking now. at that. Isn't that yeah. beautiful? Yeah. Uh, so Bram Vandenberg is going to be filling in. And so they're learning to play with him so there's there's a lot going on and they haven't played uh, on tour since 2019 so yeah, this uh, is james dolan's baby he, yes it is indeed is, i mean bravo to him and what's real that's he's the head of madison square garden yes. who is responsible for this what's really interesting as edge pointed out is you know most music acts have been playing in other people's houses for decades now yeah they play in football stadiums they play in madison square garden those are built for sports teams mm. yeah this is built for basically for video and for music. Oh, it's wow. so it, it is you. not a sports yeah. venue at all. Yeah. Uh, and so it is geared towards all of that. And there are, as, as he says, there are so many tricks you can play with in this room and yeah. it's spectacular. I heard it described, the New York Times did a big piece on it last week, as a giant eyeball on the strip that all the hotels can see. Yeah, I'm, just, you I'm can, fascinated I mean, oh, by that visual. Just the drive when you're when you're going into Vegas and it suddenly sort of pops out from behind a building, yes. it's stunning, oh, man. it really is. Well, that was a stunning piece. That was great. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. As always. As always. It'll be a great show. Thank you, Anthony.